Well, I'm all ready to go to work. Well, let me see. Before, uh, before I leave, let me point out a few things to you. This is your intercom, and these are the switches. The intercom and the switches. <laughs> well, of course, you know how to work it. Oh, yes, it's sure good to see one of those things again. <laughs> now, there is your electric pencil sharpener. Oh, and we just got a brand new electric typewriter. Oh, I hope you know how to use it. Oh, sure, doesn't everybody? <laughs> you know, frankly, I've had a little trouble getting accustomed to using the uh, light touch. Oh, so did I at first. Yeah. Oh, good morning, Mr. Irwin. This is Mrs. Carmichael. How do you do? How do you do, Mr. Irwin? Mr. Barnstall certainly recommended you very highly. He said you were the first in your secretarial class. Yes, sir, I was. Well, I'm sure you won't find it very difficult here this week. And Miss Massey, have a very wonderful vacation. Thank you, Mr. Irwin. Well, I guess I'd better be going. Well, thanks very much for all the things that you told me, Miss Massey. And you have a wonderful vacation, and don't you worry about a thing. Good luck. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take dictation. I'll be right in, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but that little gadget doesn't seem to work. That little gadget is merely for signaling. You're supposed to pick up the phone and answer it. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Now, I want you to take a letter. It's very short. I'll dictate it here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> this letter is going to Whitfield, Hammond, and Warwick. What? Oh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <clears throat> this letter is going to Whitfield, Hammond, and Warwick. Perhaps we can save time if you take it directly on the typewriter. Oh. <laughs> on the typewriter, sir? Yes, that thing right there. <laughs> yes, sir. Got that? <laughs> well, uh, just a second, sir. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, what are you doing? Well, this electric typewriter does not seem to have a light touch, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it does, once you turn it on. <laughs> Whitfield, Hammond, and Warwick.
Mrs. Uh, Carmichael, I, I think I'll go telephone Whitfield Hammond and Lawrence. Would you like to have me get them for you, sir? No, 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 no. Just get me some water. I think I'll better take an aspirin. <laughs> What are you doing now? Well, I was trying to reach the, the intercom so I could talk to you on the phone and get you a drink of water. I see. Can I have my water now? Yes, sir. I tried to get your water and the faucet was stuck and, 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 I, and I, then I hit it with my shoe and it broke off and then all the water was... So I, I just took some of the cups and filled them up and, and then I had to drink the water and... My, the water is filling, isn't it? <laughs> and then you, you buzzed on the intercom and I... Well, I, I really don't mind standing here with my finger over the hole until you can get a repairman to fix it. I really don't. <laughs> Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 